Ecclesiastes chapter 31. Watching for riches consumeth the flesh, and the care thereof driveth away sleep. Watching care will not let a man slumber, as a sore disease breaketh slip. The rich hath great labor in gathering riches together, and when he resteth he is filled with his delegates. The poor laboreth in his poor estate, and when he leaveth off he is still needy. He that loveth gold shall not be justified, and he that followeth corruption shall have enough thereof. Gold hath been the ruin of many, and their destruction was present. It is a stumbling block unto them that sacrifice unto it, and every fool shall be taken therewith. Blessed is the rich that is found without blemish, and hath not gone after gold. Who is he? And we will call him blessed, for wonderful things hath he done among his people. Who hath been tried thereby, and found perfect? Then let him glory. Who might offend, and hath not offended, or done evil? and hath not done it. His good shall be established, and the congregation shall declare his arms. If thou sit at a bountiful table, be not greedy upon it, and say not, There is much meat on it. Remember that a wicked eye is an evil thing, and what is created more wicked than an eye? Therefore it peepeth upon every occasion. Stretch not thine hand whithersoever it looketh, and thrust it not with him into the dish. Judge not thy neighbor by thyself, and be discreet in every point. Eat as it becometh a man those things which are set before thee, and devour not, lest thou be hated. Leave off first for manner's sake, and be not insatiable, lest thou offend. When thou seest among many, reach not thine hand out first of all. A very little is sufficient for a man well nurtured, and he fetcheth not his wind short upon his bed. Sound sleep cometh of moderate eating. He riseth early, and his wits are with him. But the pain of watching, and choler, and pangs of the belly are with an insatiable man. And if thou hast been forced to eat, arise, go forth, vomit, and thou shalt have rest. My son, hear me, and despise me not. And at the last thou shalt find as I told thee. In all thy works be quick, so shall there no sickness come unto thee. Whoso is liberal of his meat, man shall speak well of him, and the report of his good housekeeping will be believed. But against him that is a niggard of his meat, the whole city shall murmur, and the testimonies of his sniggardness shall not be doubted of. Show not thy valiantness in wine, for wine hath destroyed many. The furnace proveth the edge by deeping, so doth wine the hearts of the proud by drunkenness. Wine is as good as life to a man, if it be drunk moderately. What life is then to a man that is without wine? For it was made to make men glad. Wine measurably drunk and in season bringeth gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. But wine drunken with excess maketh bitterness of the mind, with brawling and quarreling. Drunkenness increaseth the rage of a fool till he offend. It diminisheth strength and maketh wounds. Rebuke not thy neighbor at the wine, and despise him not in his mirth. Give him no despiteful words, and press not upon him with urging him to drink. 